Welcome back to INC News World. Among the local congregations in the Ecclesiastical District of Northwest California is the local congregation of Fremont, established in 1983. Come join me as we delve into how they were able to commemorate their 40th anniversary through a special worship service. Abe, who manages a construction company in Fremont, and his family were recently preparing for a long-awaited trip to be reunited with his parents. Throughout the years, uh, COVID years, we, we weren't able to spend time with uh, family, and we had a planned trip to celebrate my father's 85th birthday, which was last year. They're getting older. Uh, we don't know how much time is left on their timeline. But as Abe and his wife approached the day he would be reunited with his parents and his children currently studying across the country, he was faced with a difficult decision. Family, God, family, God. And of course, what came out of it was, was God first. As a head deacon in the local congregation of Fremont, along with his wife, Christine, a deaconess, they made their decision to put their duties to God first. In the long run, this, uh, this was uh, the best choice that we had. Local congregation of Fremont in the Ecclesiastical District of Northwest California commemorated a milestone anniversary of 40 years, while other sites across the district were also connected. Officiated by Brother Aranio Codera, one of the primary helpers of the church administration, the Holy Spirit was felt by all those in attendance. Through the hymn singing, through the prayers, through the lesson, you felt it uh, within this, this the confines of this place. Eduardo B. Manalo at kalakip na rin noon, ang pangungumusta nila sa inyong kalagayan, hindi lamang sa mga kapatid na nakatala dito sa lokal, kundi sa lahat ng mga kapatid dito sa inyong distrito. A blessing that extended to members of the local congregation as well as to Abe and his wife. And to others like Dennis, a pioneer of over 30 years. It's an experience that you wish it will just go on and on and on. The feeling of being blessed, the feeling of somebody caring for you was, uh, was special. He said that Eduardo asked him to visit us. It felt very genuine, coming from the heart. When he said that the naaalala, you know, that word, naaalala kayo ng pamamahala ng ka Eduardo, uh, that, that alone, is, it matches the love of the administration, the, the care. Just from the hymn singing already, uh, we felt God's presence. And we're so very thankful to God that He allowed us to have this opportunity. We're just very thankful for His love to us and for thinking about us. So we are very happy that He remembers us. During the worship service, when they pray for your family, they pray for the parents, and they pray for your children. To hear it in this space and to feel that power fill this, I'm very confident that God will take care of all of us. We know this world is getting worse. There seems to be no end to it. But to, to have a worship service that we had today, to experience that level of power, that level of Holy Spirit, I really can't put it into words. I, I'm happy, I'm strengthened. And among others with thankfulness in their hearts was George, a 92-year-old member and former head deacon of over 17 years. Marami salamat po at uh, kami po ay mahal ng ating kapatid uh, Eduardo Manalo. Naalala kami sa aming kalagayan, sa lalong lalong sa kalagayan ng masamang mundo. For Violetta, whose first time attending a worship service in the Church of Christ was today, her feelings were undeniable. I was really crying. Not like in the Catholic Church, I can't really feel it. I feel more than what the preacher And it was immediately after this special worship service that she registered as a Bible student, eager to learn more about the true faith. 
I'm so excited. Uh, I would like to finish all the Bible study. Uh, while we are listening to the teachings prepared by the church administration, we were enlightened once again, edified in our faith, so that whatever happens in this life, we will remain faithful and steadfast in our calling. Because we all know that there are so many trials, tribulations that will still come along our way. And so the church administration wants us to understand that we need to remain strong. Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, on behalf of the local congregation of Fremont Ecclesiastical District of Northwest California, we promise to you, Paul, that we will continue to be united with you in all of the holy endeavors that you lead for the benefit of the church in her entirety, and most of all, for the glory and honor of our loving Father in heaven. For Abe and Christine, whether their family is near or far, they are inspired to carry on in service, knowing that God will always be with them. We're not together physically, we're together spiritually. And I feel confident that God is taking care of us because we all are still here, we still perform. If you take care of the church, God will take care of you. For the rest of the members in the local congregation of Fremont, they are all the more inspired to continue in their services to the Almighty God with a thankful heart. Kay Eduardo po, maraming maraming salamat at naalala nyo kami at ang patuloy nyong pag-aalaala sa amin. Uh, nagpapasalamat po kami uh, sa buong lokal at hindi nyo kami nakalimutan. Maraming maraming salamat po at mahal na mahal namin po kayo. I am a member of, you are a member of, we are members of, members of the Church of Christ. As of press time, members look forward to another great blessing. As plans are approved for this house of worship to undergo renovation, to be rededicated to the Almighty God. Through this special occasion, members in Fremont look towards the future with hope, while reflecting on the many decades filled with blessings that God outpoured to His Church. Michelle Prado for the Iglesia Na Cristo News Network, Fremont, California. Well, that does it for us on INC News World. Tune in every Saturday for new episodes of INC News World on incmedia.org, our YouTube channel, and on streaming platforms. I'm Michelle Pareto. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.